Welcome everybody to the factorial calculator tutorial for MathCelebrity.com. When you want to run a factorial problem, you can simply type it in the search engine as follows. Let's say we want to do 5 factorial. We would type this. If we wanted to do the product of factorials, we could do 4 factorial, 3 factorial. And if we wanted to divide that by another product of factorials or one factorial, we could say division sign 6 factorial, 7 factorial. So those are the few ways that you can enter your problem right into the search engine. We'll start with a simple factorial problem. Let's do 5 factorial. And you can either press the return key or the calculator. And we jump to our factorial lesson. So we first list the formula, then we show what 5 factorial really means, that's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and then we state our answer. One nice feature of this lesson is that you can enter, you can actually see how you would enter this problem on Microsoft Excel if you wanted to get 5 factorial. If you're on the lesson, you can you can enter your factorial problems exactly how I just showed you in the search engine. So we could press calculate factorial and now we do 6 factorial. If you ever need to do Sterling's approximation for a large factorial, say 25 factorial, press Sterling approximation and what it'll do is it'll run Sterling's formula and kind of approximate what that factorial would be. If you ever want to see the list of shortcuts on how you would run factorial problems, here's the product of factorials, here's 6 factorial. And one thing I didn't mention is you can actually type the word factorial too. Most people will just type the exclamation point, but the calculator is smart enough to recognize that when you type a number in factorial, you really mean 6 factorial. This lesson has a quiz generator as well for both teachers and students you can go to our quiz generator video to see more detail and one other feature for this lesson is a practice problem generator so you click the button and we generate a random factorial problem click it again click it again it just keeps generating factorial problems for you which is nice if you run out of problems in your textbook and to demonstrate a Product of factorials, we could do 9 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial. And it'll show you 9 factorial first, 3 factorial second, 2 factorial third, and then the product of those, and then your final answer. And if you were going to do that on Microsoft Excel, it showed you how to do that as well. As usual, if you have any questions or feedback, use our Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.